Do you want to experience God in your life? Have you ever needed someone to stand with you in prayer? Is your loved one in need of God's intervention? Look no further. God's Word is powerful and at work at the Father's house. Gentlemen, any great man, any great man alive or in the Bible, there have been anything at all, it's because of the gift of God in the person's life. Can I talk to you? You are who you are because of the gift of God in your life. The Bible is clear upon this. It says, what makes you different from the other? What have you that you didn't receive? And he says, he goes for that. He says, let me tell you. You are what you receive from God. You can't be anything more than what you receive from God. That's why Apostle Paul said, I am who I am by the grace of he says, even though it's the grace of God, I have labored more than anybody else. And Apostle Paul is a great writer. He says this at the end of that. Yet, it's not I, but the grace walking in me. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus. <clears throat> Do you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about the fear of God. We are told... In the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2, he said the spirit of the Lord will come upon him. Could you read for me, please? The Lord will rest on him. The spirit, somebody say the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord. Yes. Will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. Say the spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. Go ahead. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of counsel and... Okay. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the... Somebody say the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, the fear of the Lord is the foundation of Christianity. The fear of the Lord, the spirit of the fear of the Lord is the spirit of holiness. Without which you cannot see God. Next week, I'll be talking to you about this spirit. Do you know that? What did you do? Can you read Job, Job 1, verse 1 to 3 for me? In the land of Oz, there lived a man whose name was Job. Did you hear that? Go ahead. This man was blameless and upright. He was he, what? Blameless and. Yeah. He feared God and shunned evil. He feared God and. Go to the last verse. So that this man was the greatest of all the people in the east. Did you read it on the board? This man was the greatest of all the people in the east. Why? Because he feared God. Joseph said to his brothers, do this and live because I fear God. If you don't fear God, whatever gift you have will be wasted. Do you know somebody who didn't fear God? Samson. <laughs> he was so gifted. Let me tell you, in the Bible, in the Bible, or in fact, anywhere, whether in the Bible or even in our present time, the only person who had the spirit of might as close to Jesus as possible was Samson. But he died with his eyes plucked out. Why? No fear of God. If you have the fear of God, you can't be so gifted and be in a prostitute's house. Are you listening to me? Do you have Amplified? Could you read Ecclesiastes for me? Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what do you do when it is within your power to harm somebody, 
Who is your enemy? And you hold back from doing it. What do you do when you know you can get away with something and you know it's not right but you can get away with it? How do you survive such temptation? If you are in Dubai, in New York, nobody is looking at you. What stop you from committing a sin? Somebody say the spirit of the fear of the Lord. I pray, this is my prayer for you, that this spirit will come fresh upon you. Everywhere in the Bible, I was looking at it. I'm going to preach about this next Sunday. So I'm just giving you some kind of preview uh, about it. I was reading the Bible. Saul, 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 the king Saul, have no spirit of the fear of the Lord. He told Samuel, excuse me, excuse me, Samuel. He told Samuel, excuse me. Ah, pretend. <laughs> pretend God is happy with me. So that the people will respect me. Samuel says, it's all right. If that's what you want. If that's what you want. I've looked at the Bible. There was a king that had leg problem. And he was a good king. His name was King Asa. The Bible said... Even though his leg disease was serious, he refused to seek the help of God. He refused to seek the help of God. No fear of God. No fear of God. My friend, if you have gift and you don't have the fear of God, that gift, two things will happen to it. One, it could be perverted. Second, the enemy will take over. But I know I'm talking to a people that will not happen to anybody here in Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know what the preacher said? I want you to listen to what the preacher said. This verse we are going to read, if it's not Amplified Bible, close your Bible. But if you have Amplified Bible, you can, you can follow us. But read Ecclesiastes 12 verse 13 from Amplified Bible. All has been heard. Yes. The end of the matter is fear God. Oh, listen, listen. Let me, let, please read with me. See, you see, you see, all have been heard. He said, this is the conclusion of the matter. I haven't said all that I have said. The writer says. The end of the matter is. Yes. Fear God. Somebody say fear God. Ah, the, the, the writer says this, he said, let me tell you, I've been through it all. If I was T.D. Jakes, I would get, I've done it and I've got my t-shirt. But I haven't done all this, the end of the matter is. Fear God. That's the essence. Please read on. Revere and worship him. Yes. Knowing that he is. Yes. And keep his commandments. Yes. For this is the whole of man. Mm -hmm. The full original purpose. Wait, 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 wait. Other translations say, this is the whole duty of man. Somebody say, this is the whole duty of man. Now, he said the whole duty of man is fear God. <laughs> the whole duty of man is, and then I like Amplified Bible. That's why we're using it. He, Amplified Bible is explaining why it is the whole duty. Please explain, tell us what it says. The full original purpose of his creation. <laughs> the object of God's providence. See, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm sorry I'm interrupting you. This thing is just sharing my... Are, are, you, are you like me? When you read something like this, it does not boil in within you. That's why those disciples that were with Jesus Christ, they say, when he spoke to us, didn't our heart burn within us? I don't know what's burning within you, but I know this word of God is supposed to burn within you. He said the full original purpose of his creation. That's the reason you were created. <laughs> 
you were created to fear God. Please tell us more. Of character. Ah, he said the object of God's providence. Somebody say the object of God's providence. The object of God's providence. <laughs> and then the root of character. The foundation of all happiness. The adjustment to all in harmonious circumstances. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yes. Say, neighbor, neighbor, there is an adjustment. Say there is an adjustment to every inharmonious circumstance in your life. And that adjustment is fear God. Fear God. Put your hand together for Jesus. Please go ahead. Let's just finish it. And conditions under the sun. Uh-huh. And the whole duty for, for every man. man. Put your hand together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please stand with me. Didn't the Bible say the, the fear of God is the beginning of? <laughs> Do you know somewhere else he say the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge? Uh huh. So it's the beginning of wisdom? It's the beginning of knowledge? That's all you need. How many people are ready to receive afraid the fear of God now? I'm telling you, it's the whole essence of man. The original purpose of God's creation. If you fear God, nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you. Take you know what something? Let me tell you. The fear of God is the only thing that can stop you from destroying your future. Who am I talking to here? I, I say the fear of God is the only thing that can stop you, not enemy. Stop you from destroying your own. <laughs> you know, when they caught, when that uh, Mrs. Pontifa caught Joseph. Don't tell me Mrs. Pontifa wasn't beautiful. When he caught Joseph, and I'm sure Joseph knew there was a prime minister in his life. <laughs> and he told his brother, I fear God. And he told Mrs. Pontifa, excuse me, I will not do such a wicked thing. Your husband has given me everything in this house except you. He said, why should I do such a wicked thing before God? Mrs. Pontifa said, I don't know God. And Joseph said, no, no, I know God. Ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you something? Mrs. Pontifa was a very strategic woman and she made sure there was nobody else in the house. So they could have gotten away with that. Are you listening to me? Yeah. But Joseph said, yeah. This is the battle. The battle of my future. Who am I talking to? Some of us go through the battle of our future. There are things happening around us. You know, it's easy. It's easy. To destroy a future. Do you know one action can destroy or delay the future for 10 years? God doesn't live in time. You do something, he say, okay, give her, give him 10 years. Do you know what? He knows. Maybe you can't make it 10 years before you go back, go, go to heaven. But that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. But listen to Joseph. When Mrs. Potiphar wanted to be forceful, he grabbed Joseph's jacket. Joseph said, I went, <laughs> let, uh, let him take the jacket. See, but I know what happened to Joseph. When Mrs. Potiphar got Joseph's jacket, something came to Joseph's head. Joseph said, I've been here before. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody got it there. Joseph said, I've been here before. Is it jacket? There was a time I had a jacket of many colors. They took it from me. But now, you want to take a jacket of one color? Take it away. Come on, put, give God a clap off in the house of God. What does that mean? My friend, 
don't be so downcast. Everything is going against you. Let me tell you, all things are working together for you. In one day, you will realize this thing you are going through. God, let it happen for a. Come on, put your hand together. Father, in the name of Jesus. May the fear of the Lord come afresh upon this church. May the fear of the Lord come afresh upon this family, upon every family here. May the fear of the Lord come upon you afresh. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. God bless. Thank you for watching. We hope you have been blessed by this program today. If you're in Aberdeen, Scotland, feel free to drop by the Father's house.